Kelly say in Botswana, do Milan, and welcome to the Kalahari Game Reserve and Animal Refuge. This is the largest reserve in all of Botswana. Every year, thousands of people travel here from all around the world to experience the African safari and to see all of the amazing animals that live here in God's beautiful creation. We have some new interns joining us here today at the refuge. Let's meet them and show them around. She's gone. I guess that means I'm in charge. I am, after all, the junior supervisor. Let me see that. This thing is written in crayon. <laughs> <laughs> junior supervisor? Since when? Oh, it's implied. My parents have been sponsoring this refuge since before I was born. So, you know, when everything was done in black and white, that means they donate. Oh. Oh. So I'm just here to check up on the work that's being done. Cleaning up, animal plans and all that junk. Don't expect me to do any of that. Come on, Addison. 
If we're all gonna get along here, we need to have good attitudes. Showing up for the interim work and not doing any of it? That's a bad attitude. We don't need that here. He's right. Cleaning out animal pens may not be the most exciting or glamorous job, but if that's what we're supposed to do, then it makes sense to do it the best we can and be cheerful about it. You're right. I know. My parents and my tutor and my personal beautician all say I need to work on my attitude. I'm working on it, okay? Just sometimes I forget I'm working on it and I need a reminder. So if you notice I'm having a bad attitude, you can remind me. Ooh, something to remind you. This will be fun. Addison, you have a bad attitude. <laughs> I think we need a code word or a signal just in case so she does get embarrassed in front of Miss K. I think that's a good idea. But what could the signal be? How about a kick in the shin? Just a small one. No. If you do that, a scorpion might end up in your bed tonight. How about we do jumping jacks as fast as we can? That is like. The opposite of subtle. How about the word hippopotamus? Hippo? Hippo! That could work. Okay, I like it. So if you notice I'm having a bad attitude, just whisper the word hippopotamus and I'll remember. <laughs> All right, here, Liam, let's try this on, see if this fits. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. Follow me, guys. Do you have a tro smell here? No. Ah! I've been waiting for this moment my entire life. It's time to get to know the animals. I'm going to meet a ring-tailed lemur. And the elephants. Maybe we can ride the elephants. Miss Kay, can we ride them? We'll see. This is Spy. This is Spy calling villain. Do you read me? Over. This is Vil calling Spy. I read you. What is your status? Over. Operation, you stay. I stage them, you cage them, is a go. Over. Why are you yelling? Psh, sorry. Operation is a go. Over. I'm coming in. Bro, you really gotta work on your walkie talk. Sorry, I'm nervous. How much time do we have? Everyone just left for lunch, so we have about 30 minutes. But Maddox, I'm worried. Worried about what? Oh, I don't know. Our livelihood's being ruined? A potential juvie record? Liam, our lives were ruined two years ago, and you've spent exactly none of that time. If it's the animals you're worried about, don't be. I've researched the zoo that I'm sending them to, and they'll take good care of the animals. They'll take good care of my wallet, too. And how are you so sure that that will work? Liam, you're my brother. I wouldn't lead you astray like that. Besides, this is going to make us enough money to go do whatever we need. But what if I mess up, or get caught? Or hurt an animal. Do you see this cheetah, Maddox? It is too cute to be hurt. Liam, 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 come over here. Hey, I just want to tell you, I appreciate all you're doing. But I'm the one who's taking care of the animals and prepping them for pickup. All you have to do is you keep the animals alone and use that charming second child personality of yours so the interns don't know what's going on. But we're helping the animals, right? By the way, where's your not a spy shirt? Liam? Liam? Oh, there you are. I was looking for you. Uh, everyone's at breakfast and we're wondering where you were. I wanted to come remind you of the schedule. Oh, hey, Miss Kay. I'm just doing some stretches. Uh, What's going on? I just wanted to see what you were doing. Yeah, everyone's looking for was wondering where you were. Oh, you good? I'm fine. I appreciate it, though. Thanks. Yeah, um, what are you doing? Oh, me? I was just, um, getting in some extra bonding time with the animals while stretching. These little guys are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you're enjoying the animals. They are pretty special. Well, don't take too long, though, because we have a lot to do today, and you'll be needing a good breakfast, okay? <laughs> All right, I'll be there in a few minutes. Sounds good. We'll try to save some bacon for you. <sighs> <sighs> Max, get in here now! Over! <laughs> oh my gosh, Liam, that was amazing. I don't think she knew a thing was going on. Just hurry up, I can feel my heart pounding. Uh, all right. Hey. 
Make sure to call me tonight. Okay, I will. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, I will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the only person who told me anything about God was my grandma. She was a really special lady. Hey, there he is. We thought maybe you forgot about breakfast. I told her it was basically impossible for a guy to forget a meal. Yeah, pretty much impossible. I just had to take care of something. Here. We are literally breaking bread. No souffle or waffles today. But it's okay. I'm having a good attitude about it. Well, good for you. Nope. No hippopotamus for you today. Wait, what? Never, Never mind. mind. So anyway, before you came in, Liam, we were talking about Jesus. I was kind of sharing my story. So when I was little, my grandma would talk to me about Jesus, and she had this kid's Bible she would read to me all the time. But I didn't grow up going to church or anything. This past year, I've started going to a youth group with a friend, and it's answered a lot of my questions about God, but there's a lot more I want to know still. Well, I've accepted Jesus as my Savior, and I try to follow him every day. I don't know everything, but I may be able to help. What sort of questions do you have? Well, first of all, what's with heaven and hell? Are those actually real places? Yes, they are real places. Every person is made in the image of God. You, me, all of us. That means that we have a spirit that will live on forever, even after our bodies die. The Bible says that those who reject Jesus will go to hell forever. Hell is a terrible place of pain and separation from God. But the Bible says that those who accept Jesus who will live with him in heaven forever. Heaven is like the ultimate paradise. You get to be with God, and there's no sadness and no sin. Well, heaven sounds great, but what is sin? Sin is everything that goes against God, like lying, stealing, hurting people, and even having bad thoughts. In Romans it says, For all have sinned and fallen short for the glory of God. That means we all have sinned. Nobody is perfect. Also, sin isn't allowed in heaven at all. So does that mean that everyone deserves to go to hell? That's right, but the story doesn't end there. It says in Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. God made a way to get rid of our sin because he loves us and he wants to have a relationship with us. Just think about that. The God who made the whole universe and who knows everything about us still wants to know us personally. And he wants us to know him. But how do we know that God loves us? Like, I've heard people say that before, but life is still hard. Or at least, my life is hard. So, where's the proof that he loves us? Well, God doesn't promise that life will be easy. Bad things have been happening ever since sin came into the world. But the proof is that God gave his life for us. He sent his son, Jesus, down to earth as a baby. Jesus was born in a stall with a bunch of animals. He grew up and never sinned, not even once. He was the only perfect person in all of history. Ooh, 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 I know this part. Jesus died on a cross. He was mistreated and abused, even though he didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, that's right. Jesus had an amazing ministry for three years. He only did what God's Father told him to do. He healed people, raised people from the dead, and did many other amazing miracles. He taught people about God. But there were enemies who didn't want to follow God and plotted to have Jesus killed. But this was all part of God's plan, though, because someone had to be punished for all of the sin in the world. Jesus took all of our punishment when he died, even though he didn't deserve any of it. That's right. Jesus wasn't like some helpless dude. He was God in human form. He could have called down our army's angels at any time to take him off that cross. But no, he decided to stay there and suffer so that I can believe in him and be saved. Man, the fact that he would do that, that's totally proof that God loves us. Yeah. It says in John 3, 16 through 17, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Yeah, but don't forget the most important part. What's that? 
Three days later, Jesus rose from the dead! Wait, really? Yep, his body disappeared from the tomb and he went around appearing to his followers before going back up into heaven. It's a documented historical fact! Facts, baby! That's gonna keep Jesus down! <laughs> wow! He's like more powerful than all the superheroes put together! Of course he is! He's God! And he offers salvation to anyone who wants it! Yeah. Well, I think I... Mm. Well, I think I want it! I haven't heard a lot about this stuff before, but it sounds like the best news ever. I didn't know God loved me so much. He does, man. He really does. Well, I see that now, but you gotta understand. Life has been really hard for the past couple of years. My parents passed away in an accident about two years ago. I don't really have much family besides my older brother. I miss them a lot. We've survived so far, but it's been tough, and I haven't trusted anyone since. But I don't want to learn to trust Jesus just like you guys do. I don't want to figure, try to figure out my own life anymore. It just doesn't work. Well, I had no idea, Liam. I'm so sorry. But I agree. I want to follow Jesus, too. My life has been completely different from yours. I've had everything given to me. I get pretty much whatever I ask for. But it's just empty stuff. I want to follow Jesus and make my life count for something. It's a decision that everyone has to make for themselves. And invite him into your heart and ask him to be the Lord of your life. Yeah. 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 Uh, there's actually a verse about it. Romans 10, 9 says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, then you'll be saved. So believe in your heart that Jesus is who he says he is and proclaim him as the Lord of your life. Well, if you believe all that, it's so about start by telling him a prayer. Yeah. Well, I don't know how to pray, but I do believe in Jesus. Could you help us? Of course. Repeat after me. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I admit that I'm a sinner. I admit, I admit that, that I'm that a sinner. sinner. I believe that you died to save me from my sins. I believe, I believe that you believe died, died to save me from my sins. sins. I believe that you rose again conquering sin and death. I believe, I believe that, that you rose, rose again, again conquering, conquering sin and death. death. Jesus. You are my Lord. Jesus, you are my Lord. My life belongs to you. My life belongs, belongs to, you. to you. Please come into my heart and take over my life. Please come into my heart and take over my life. Thank you for loving me and saving me. Thank you for loving me and for saving me. Help me to follow you for the rest of my life. Help me to follow you for the rest, for the rest of, my of my life. Amen. 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 Now we're brothers and sisters in Christ. I really like the sound of that. Yeah. You guys have just started the most wonderful journey. Confessing that Jesus is the Lord of your life is only the beginning. Now you can get to know him and learn to, hear, to follow him and learn to hear him guiding you. You turn away from the person you used to be and become who he wants you to be. His plans are way better than our plans. That's for sure. Well, I'm excited, guys. Glad to be a part of the family. I'm sure I'll have a lot more questions, but thanks for helping me get started. Speaking of questions, does anyone want that last piece of bacon? <laughs> it is all yours. Oh, this is so wonderful. I'm so happy for you too. We will definitely talk more about this later, but right now I do have to get to a meeting. Would you guys mind cleaning up? Yeah, we can. Yeah, you betcha. Wait a minute. Clean up the table. You want me to do dishes? Oh <laughs> gosh, give me a break. This is not what I signed up for. Hippopotamus. I mean, of course. I would love to help. Here, hand me that dish rag. I'll wipe down the table. Well, loving the whole attitude, Addison. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Addison, watch it. Ah! Ah! Hey, I'm being helpful. Miss Kay even said so. She didn't tell you to clean us. Take the dishes and run. Ah! Hey, this is the new and improved Addison. Ah! So you better get ah! used to it. I just don't see why the animals have to eat before we do. I'm starving. I'm used to a consistent schedule, and on Wednesdays I always get Belgian waffles. With made from scratch by my personal chef. With fresh fruit and an egg souffle. I almost smell it now. Oh, that's a good whoop it. Well, pretty sure you won't be getting that fancy breakfast here, so enjoy those memories. I'm sure the animals are hungry too. 
Here, Addison, you feed the zebras and the giraffe today. I'll handle the watering. <coughs> Fine. <laughs> Just don't see how you can be so happy about doing such filthy jobs that don't even matter. I mean, seriously, we're cleaning out animal pens and dumping slop into buckets. Somebody's acting pretty stuck up. Hippopotamus! <laughs> oh, me. What did I do this time? You're complaining a lot and acting prideful. You need to show humility. What's that? Humility is the opposite of pride. It's not thinking of ourselves as most important, but realizing that God is most important. We would be nothing without him. He made us in his image. He lets us wake up each day, and he gave us our talents and abilities. We can't really take credit for anything. The glory all belongs to God. Oh, I see. I guess I was thinking I was too good or too smart for this kind of work. When really, I should have been thankful for the chance to serve. I should start thinking about others more instead of focusing on myself so much. That's right. There's a bunch of verses about God opposing the proud and all, but one of my favorite verses is in James. God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. God opposes the proud? That's scary. I don't want to be fighting against God. Humility. I'll work on it. And on that note, let's get the rest of these animals fed. The giraffe looks hungry. That's my mom. Did you know that giraffes have four stomachs to digest their food? And they only drink water once every few days because they get most of their water from the food they eat. Really? That thing has four stomachs? <laughs> no way. I had no idea. Yep. Also, you can tell the age of a giraffe by the color of its spots. The darker the spots, older the giraffe. So this one's pretty young. Wow. You sure know a lot about giraffes. I'll say, you're like a walking encyclopedia. Okay, Shelby, what do you know about hyenas? Easy. Hyenas are very smart, and they live in clans of up to 130 members. They are hunters as well as scavengers, and they have powerful jaws that crack open the bone as thick as your wrist. Yikes. Don't mess with hyenas. They are tough. Speaking of hyenas... Wasn't there one here yesterday? <gasps> You're right! I know, that's weird. I know she wasn't ready to be released yet. Miss K said she had injured her leg in the wild and needed at least a couple more weeks to recover. Maybe Miss K moved her up to another pen? Oh, Probably nothing to worry about. Yeah, we should really simple. finish up before all these animals starve to Wait. death. Wait! There's a zebra missing too! Oh my gosh, there were two of them! Maybe Miss K moved her too? That's fishy. I don't know. I'm gonna, I, it seems suspicious. I'm going to find Miss K and ask her. Wow, this is kind of exciting. A real life animal mystery. Are you kidding me? Exciting? Whoa. <laughs> don't get me wrong and all, but what if they like Ashley Stone, like for real? That would be bad. We could hunt down a thief. Maybe a whole pack of them. We could be like hyenas in the wild, stopping the prey. The prey. Do we get them? Whoa, man. Get off me. I didn't do it. Whoa, bro. Just a joke. Boys. But, yeah, the hyena and the zebra. Didn't you move them? No, I didn't move them. The lock on this cage has been tampered with, and this is not how I usually wrap the chain. Are you sure that none of you went into this pen? No. We just fed them through the fence like you told us to. None of us went in that pen, especially me. The locks were locked. It just doesn't make sense. How did they get out? No. Do you think? Is it possible? Don't say it. That somebody stole them? <laughs> yes, that seems to be the only explanation. But who and how would they have gotten in? And why would they steal the animals? Stolen a real person in this creature. Could they ever have a dream? It doesn't do any good to panic. We need to think, and we need to turn to the one who's in control of everything. Who's in control? 
God, God is in control. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That guy, yeah. yeah. Come over here and let's pray. He knows where the animals are, and we need his help. <laughs> Dear God, we know you are in control. Your word says in Proverbs to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Please, Lord, direct our paths. Give us wisdom and show us what to do and how to get the animals back. Protect them, Lord, and let your justice prevail. We trust you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, come on. Let's go make a plan, guys. I'm calling my daddy. I'm calling my mommy. I'm calling my aunt. So, in conclusion, we have three of the five animals needed to make the first ship. Tomorrow... Maddox, gonna... I'm not so, so sure this is such a good idea anymore. Everyone is very worried that so many animals are missing. And I think Miss Kendra might call the authorities if anything else happens. Don't worry about that. As long as you don't mess up, no one's going to find out. Besides, when we have the money, we will be set for a while. Say what? It's not right. What we're doing, we're stealing, Maddox. Stealing is wrong. Everybody knows that. No, do you know what's not right? That we don't have anyone to care for like other kids. Ever since mom and dad died, do you know who's been protecting us? Me. Who's been providing for us? Me. And now that you're finally old enough to help out, who's chickening out? You. I'm not chickening out. I want to help. But this isn't the way. Wording other people and animals. I see what this is about. It's those kids, isn't it? Your new friends? You think they are your friends? Give me a break. They are my friends, and I don't want to hurt them. But it's not just that, Maddox. They told me about Jesus, and I believe in him now, and I want to follow him. Yeah, doesn't make much of a difference, though, does it? Not like they want us to do anything. Mom and Dad wouldn't have... Jesus wouldn't want me to lie and steal. Mom and Dad wouldn't have wanted that either. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do, and I know what we're doing is wrong. Just please, let's return the animals and come clean. We could get help, maybe even get a job here. Who knows? No, 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 no. Do you know what they'd do if they found out what we, what you have done? They'd kick you out of the intern program and report me to police. Then we'd really be stuck. It's too late, Liam. You're either all in or you're all out. It's never too late. You always have a choice. I can't believe what I'm hearing. What? You care more about your new friends than your own brother. That's not true. I'm done with this. You're out of the plan, Liam. I don't need you. <laughs> I can do this on my own. Dear God, please help me. I don't know what to do. Please help Maddox to believe in you. And show him how much you love him. Please help me to be a good brother. I trust you, Jesus. Just please show me what to do. Please. Amen. Life made by your hand and design 
Is it fair to ask why it will oh go? show and boy do I have an update for you today it's been three days since animals have been stolen as a hyena a zebra and a giraffe including my old pal Rocky the Rhino I started following the clues trying to find out what happened and indubitably the safari are not like the streets of London back home my first thought it was an inside job but now I'm convinced the animals are just Letting themselves out. Why is a dolphin so tall? Why is a giraffe built different? Why is just a hippo a hippo? Hey Mason, we got your urgent These text to meet you here. Confusing my mind. Mason, what are you doing? Hello there, lads. I'm just Talk viewing everyone in about the case of the missing animals. Who's everyone? We're literally the only people in the room. We are the viewers of the Detective Mason show. You have a show? Yes. But the point of this meeting is escaping us. Come along, friends. I have called you all here because I cannot solve this mystery on my own. Have you heard of a pup named Scooby-Doo? You mean the dog who solves mysteries with those meddling detective kids? My mom watched it growing up, so I know about it. I only what watch Fancy they... Nancy. Oh, okay. oh, the mystery game. The knowledge never ceases to amaze me. Exactly, Shelby! Which is why you must form our own mystery game. The mystery chaps. Way too cringe, but I just can't stand it anymore, you guys. We gotta do something about these animals. Which is what I've been saying all along. The mystery chaps. Once again, okay, too cringe. But really, guys. Miss K just said to wait and let the police handle it. I think we should listen. But what if the police don't find them in time and the animals get hurt? Poor innocent animals. I feel for Miss Kay, you know, because she's in charge of this whole place and is falling down on her watch. I can't imagine what she's going through right now. I know. She's so wonderful and kind to the animals. And they didn't deserve to be stolen. They had a good life here. Food, water, shelter, and medical care so they could be ready to go live in the wild again. And now who knows what's going to happen to them. <laughs> Liam, what are you talking about? You guys... No, we're not gonna hate you. Just tell us what's going on. Okay, here it is. The only reason I joined this intern program was to get information so we could steal the animals. We need, need to steal them because we are we need money. Who's we? Me and my older brother Maddox. It was his idea. I just wanted to help him because he's been working so hard to take care of us. So, that not a spy shirt? Huh, you told the worst spy. He lied to us. I know, I know, and I'm sorry. The more I got to know you guys, and the more I got to know Jesus, the more I, I realized how wrong this whole plan was. I tried to get Maddox to change the plan, but he no. wouldn't listen. Well, it took a lot of courage to tell us. It, thank you. It's the least I could do at this point. I'm so, so sorry. Could you guys ever forgive me? Yes. 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 No. yes. Yeah, man, we forgive you. Oh, thanks. You guys really are great friends. I don't deserve it after all the pain I've put you through. So. You know, Liam, it says in 2 Corinthians 5.17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old have passed away. Behold, the new have come. You've only been a Christian for one day, and you're already standing up for what's right. I think that's pretty cool. Thanks. So, how do you grow in God? You spend time with Him. You can do that by reading the Bible. The Bible is God's word to us. It shows us how God wants us to live our lives. 
The Bible is like a giant light shining on our path. But when you read it, you have to do what it says, like it says in James 1.22. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Because if you read the Bible and didn't do what it said, it really wouldn't be much help. Yeah, that's right. When we talk to God and we pray to him, it shows us that we trust him. God is our number one homie. God likes it to hear of things, about things going on in the world, and God likes it when you pray for people. He wants to hear from you, and he wants to talk to you. Prayer is so powerful. So the more time you spend with God, the closer you get to him. That's a good way to think about it. Well, you can talk to God throughout the day, no matter where you are. What about church? It is so important to find yourself a community of friends that can help you grow in your faith. In Hebrews 10 it says, let us encourage one another in acts of good works and love, and not neglect our meeting together as some people do, but encourage one another, especially since his return is drawing near. It is so important to surround yourself with friends who can draw you closer to God. I think my parents would go to church with me. I'll find one when I get home. I just wish Maddox believed in Jesus. I don't know how I'm going to find myself a group of Christians as long as he's in charge. Well, let's go talk to him. The mystery traps are back on, baby. I don't know, guys. I'm kind of scared. I want to help the animals and all, but, you know. Don't be scared. The Lord and justice is, justice is on our side. Yes, it's time to be brave and fight for what we know is right. How can you guys be so confident? I'm literally shaking. Jesus is a true source of our confidence. It says in Philippians, I can do all things who, who strengthens me. I'm going to have to give your brother one more chance to turn in the animals. And you have to figure out a way to get the animals back to Miss K. Alright, but before we go, can we pray for him? You guys said that prayer is powerful. I think that's a great idea. Alright. Okay. Dear God, please help Maddox believe in you. I know he's been searching for something for a long time now. Since mom and dad died, he's changed, and I, I miss when he was happy. He, he may seem tough, but he's got a great heart, so please forgive him and me for any harm we've caused. Also, I pray that the animals can be returned to the refuge, and no matter what comes our way, thank you for giving us, thank you for letting us pray for giving us strength. Amen. Amen.
this. You do not want to miss this. Okay, but seriously, change the name. It's no, it is awesome, okay? It's so cringy. You're just so mad at my name, naming. Stop. Please. There it is. That's where we've been keeping the animals. Our secret lair. Wow, this is so cool. I've never seen a secret lair in person before. It is time for Detective Nation anniversary. Okay, so, what are we gonna say? I'll do the talking, come on. Okay. I'm gonna wait outside. I, you guys can't let him see me. Got oh. it. It's time for Detective Mason and the mystery chest. On one, two, three. No. no. Guys, never let me do anything. <laughs> Here it is. There's the giraffe and the hyena. Ah, they're all safe. And the cheetah and zebra too. Is there anyone home? Um, I don't think so. Let's just grab the animals and get out of here. Come okay, on, kitty. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? Oh, Where did you come from? She's doing the talking. Um, hi, I'm Shelby. This is Addison and Mason. We work at the Kalahari Animal Refuge where these animals were taken from. We don't want to cause any trouble. But we have to take the animals back to the refuge so they continue getting ready to live in the wild again. Take them back? No. If you'd known what I've been through, you wouldn't have even come here. Do you think I did this for fun? Yeah. Yes. No. Ah! These animals will help support me and my basic needs. Without them, I don't know how long I'll survive. So I'll give you a chance to go back before I make you. No. Either you turn the animals in or we turn you in, okay? Take the second chance, Maddox, before you don't have one. How do you know my name? <laughs> because I told them. <gasps> Liam, once a betrayer, always a betrayer. I didn't betray or abandon you, Maddox. I want to help you. Did you bring them here? I told you to stay out of us until the job was over. The job is over. What you're doing is wrong, and you know it's wrong. So it's either you're, you got to stop the plan, or... We turn you in, but I can't let you go through with th this because I care about you. I don't know what else to do. Look, I know you feel stuck, but lying and stealing like this isn't honoring to mom and dad. It's not what they, it's not what they would have wanted no matter how hard life gets. And I know you're mad at everything right now, at everything that has happened. But you don't have to hold on to that anger anymore, Maddox. God loves you, and he made a way for you to be free. He's the creator of everything, and I know that he will provide for us as long as we trust him and follow and turn to him. He's faithful. Hmm. I've never heard you talk like that. So confident. I didn't know Jesus before. I'm just starting to follow him. But I can already tell that things are different. I can already tell that things are different. Jesus is God's son, and he, he loves and he loves us so much that he died for us. But then, get this, he rose again. He's alive today and, and offers salvation for all of us. The chance to live forever in heaven instead of hell. The chance to know God personally. Yeah. But we can't get rid of sin on our own, though. We need Jesus. Yeah, I remember that. Mom and Dad used to believe in Jesus, and they tried teaching us about him. You're probably too young to remember, but I do. They talked about how he came to Earth to save us from our sins, but it's been so long I've kind of forgotten he's there. It's not too late to turn back, Maddox. Jesus loves you and is waiting for you with open arms. Yeah, you can still get back on track. I don't deserve it. Let the professionals handle this. That's why it's called Grace Man. God gives us this even when we don't deserve it. Thank you. But you're right. I'm sorry, guys, for all the hurt and pain I've caused you all, and especially you, Liam. I left you. Could you ever forgive me? Well, of course I forgive you, but I think God is the one you really need to talk to. It's been so long, I don't think I remember how to pray. Well, just tell him you're sorry and ask him to be the Lord of your life. It doesn't have to be fancy. Just be you. All right. Here he goes. Dear God, um, it's been a while, and I just wanted to say I'm sorry. 
I haven't been doing what you've called me to, and I've been messing up in the process. I want to stop that, and I want to turn to you, Lord. Please help me follow you and be more like you. Everything I have is yours. Help me to follow you more. Be Lord of my life, please. In Jesus' name, amen. That was good, bro. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh-huh. This is so beautiful, you guys. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> oh, there you guys are. I've been looking all over for you. What are you doing way out here? Miss K, how'd you find us? You're not that hard to track. Uh, hey, are those the missing animals from the refuge? Yes, we found them. Are they all right? Are they safe? Yes, they're fine. Oh, praise the Lord. How did you find them? And who are you? Miss K, I can explain. This is my older brother, Maddox. We made a plan to steal the animals one by one. I would get information, and I would tell them when the animals would be alone so we wouldn't get, be caught. What? Stealing protected animals? That's a pretty serious crime. No, 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 no. Don't, don't blame Liam. It was my idea. I, ever since I lost my last job, I just, I didn't know what to do. We were losing money and I needed some, so I decided selling the animals would be the best idea. But God had other plans. He sent these four children and I've rededicated my life to Jesus. You can take the animals back and I'll take whatever punishment I deserve. But please leave Liam out of it. So you four came all this way to confront him and get these animals back? Yeah. Yup, yep. and it yep. and ended up sharing God's love and getting my brother back. Wow. This is amazing, guys. Wow, Jesus can set anyone free. All you have to do is choose him. That's why Jesus told us in Matthew 28, 19 through 20. Therefore, go into the world, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey all I have commanded you. And surely I am with you, even to the end of the age. Yes, the good news about Jesus is just too great to keep to ourselves. We gotta tell people about it. That's right. Jesus said we are the light of the world, a city on a hill that cannot be hit, that's light cannot be hidden. Jesus said, shine light before Jesus said, show your good works before men, so they can praise and glorify the Father too in heaven. Yeah, the truth will set you free. I think you've all seen a wonderful example of that today. And Maddox. I would be happy to offer you a job here at the refuge if you're interested in working with the animals. Oh, really? Yeah. That's amazing. This is the best day ever. We would have to do a background check, though. <gasps> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, though, <gasps> we're so glad you're part of God's plan. Yeah! <laughs> so, Miss Kate, it was like five miles, right? No. <laughs> been set free, my chains have been broken, I no longer follow the darkness, I follow the light, Jesus saved me, and now I can say I've been free by the blood of the Lamb. I've been set free, my chains have been broken, I no longer follow the darkness, I follow the light, Jesus saved me. Yes, you 